Google Webmaster Tools. Fetch as Google. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, we're going to take a look at the feature called Fetch as Google made available in Google Webmaster Tools. Fetch as Google is basically Google's way of allowing website owners and webmasters to mimic the behavior of Googlebot. Okay? It has features as far as fetch and fetch and render. It also gives you an ability to choose you know, which devices that you want to, to take a look at as far as rendering and fetching is concerned. Okay? Keep in mind that you can fetch your inner pages. It doesn't necessarily have to be your home page. As we can see, for the home page, it says just leave everything as it is. But if you want to, let's say, fetch your inner pages to see how everything is working, um, as far as Googlebot being able to request your landing pages and how it renders your landing pages, so you can surely give the inner URLs of your website. Now, we also have some extra options here. First of all, let's actually forget about mobile CHTML. That's for the PDA devices or small um, uh, mobile devices that I personally believe not many people use anymore, right? So your aim should be to make sure that your landing pages render properly on desktop devices, also smartphones as well. Now the difference between mobile smartphones and mobile XHTML is quite simple really. Now let's say you visit your landing page, your home page or your website and if you use your keyboard and press Ctrl U you'll see the source code and in if you have something like this, that means your website is built on HTML5 or just HTML, right? But I've created a sample page to show you a source code. And if I control U, as we can see, this doc type, which is document type declaration, is actually XHTML. So therefore, if your source code and your website shows something like this, Okay, then choose that option to fetch and render your website and landing pages to see how everything looks. Okay. To save time, I've already gone ahead and fetched a few sample um, um, web pages for you. So this was just fetching the home page. As we can see with this one here, not only I fetched it, I've also requested rendering okay so let's press on this simple fetch to see the different information as we can see just fetching gives a bit more insights as far as what the server has returned as well as we're seeing here okay and also how google went ahead and fetched the entire web page itself okay but let's say if i go back and if i look at fetch and render the difference then becomes clear as to google bot is you know google is saying you know what um, we've rendered your landing page and this is what it looks like as far as we're concerned now why is this information important for you and what is the the thought pattern that should arise within your mind when you render your landing pages through Google Webmaster Tools. First of all, it should be able to render it without any problems. But even that's the case, that's actually not good enough for you to just rely on Fetch as Google feature from Webmaster Tools. Reason being, um, there are many visitors to your website who will be using different browsers. Now, if that's the case, as a website owner and webmaster, your goal should be to make sure that all the major browsers can render your landing pages. And the, the simplest way to maintain that side of things is 
for you to simply download all of them to your local computer and then go ahead and simply browse around your website to see how it looks using different browsers okay instead of just relying on this information surely this is quick and easy way to get an idea as to what your what your landing pages look like but once again relying on that information alone I believe will not be good enough now if you were to follow the option I've just suggested to you then you will actually um, create better websites and user experience and as a result um, increase your Google rankings as well okay so let's take a look at this particular rendered page to see what is the difference and as we're seeing Google is saying you know what as far as smartphones are concerned this is what we think your landing pages look like okay so once again if you can get a hold of different uh, mobile devices like if you've got a smartphone surely you've already looked at your um, website uh, through it and if you've got iPads or tablets surely you know making sure that your website and landing pages work well um, you know in all the desktop laptop mobile devices will only help you as far as um, creating a successful online business for yourself also I've got Google Analytics here if you've in if you haven't installed Google Analytics um, I encourage you to do so although it's quite complex for beginners nonetheless in time you'll actually have great information one being the, the the browser and operating system information meaning you should know whether it's through your server logs or whether it's through Google Analytics you should know what type of browsers people are using to come to your website okay so your target audience you need to focus on them and what sort of um, browsers operating systems and the rest is concerned okay you need to know all this information and Google Analytics makes that available for you easily under audience menu option under technology under browsers and operating systems and as we can see by just looking at this information I must in my mind make sure that I actually install Chrome and then visit my landing pages so that I know for a fact that majority of my visitors are having a great user experience by using Chrome browser okay also you know this let's say Safari surely if your target audience is a, a, a different um, different niche so to speak you know and if they're using Apple devices and so on they'll most likely use Safari right so therefore all that information about your target audience is very important for you to understand when you create your landing pages at the end of the day make sure that percentage wise the top three browsers that people use okay you must make sure that in all of them your websites render well also we've got screen resolutions in Google Analytics and all the rest all this information is great for you to understand so that you can create landing pages accordingly once again Google Webmaster Tools fetch as Google is a quick and easy way for you to see if all is okay now doing bit of maintenance on on your website is only intelligent every now and then because it's free to do so through Google Webmaster Tools but as you can see I've recently actually updated my website a couple of months ago and just playing around with fetch as Google has actually shown me some um, issues that Google was facing so then I requesting that bit later identified um, that it wasn't to do with my server um, in a sense that all was great but you know with a click of a mouse button doing bit of maintenance on your website is only intelligent okay even though let's say today I fetch my landing pages as Google 
and all is great right but let's say next week when I come and do a bit of maintenance or to get a bit more insights I should still use this fetch as Google feature to see if all is okay at that time and so on okay because you may be able to visit your landing pages because you may have cached the 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 page itself and so on but your server may be having problems so if that's the case fetch as Google is a great feature for you to get familiar with I thank you very much for learning with me if you found this video session of use to you please do share it and also don't forget to subscribe to rank your SEO services YouTube channel and I'll talk to you in the next video session